So I'm from the Middle East and I really wanted to do this one for a long time. The Spotlight Collection, Middle East by Native Instruments. This is a contact library. It can run on the free contact player as well as the full contact and complete control. Let's get started. So there are so many things that you can do with this library. Let me break down the user interface, show you what's included real quick. So first of all, we have different banks. So if you're loading this in complete control, you'll see this drop down, and we have three categories or three banks. We have the ensemble, percussion, and melodic. And for each one, you might have also a sub bank. So I'm going to go with the first one here, and then sub banks. So we have ensemble and then the Middle East Ensemble. So I'm just gonna go with the first one and I'm gonna load it. And now we have a collection of instruments that can play together. Now the keyboard is always, uh, well, it always changes. It always programmed a little bit different. And if you want to know how the keyboard is laid out, then you can go to the mapping tab right here. So this is the perform, tab, the main tab, then we have a mixer. The third one is the mapping and it will show you what exactly the keys are doing. So we have phrases starting from C0, then we have key switches and then we have the main playing keys. Right, and then on the right side, we have the playing keys if you want to play that melodically. And we have different scales and different options that we can use. And if you have complete control keyboard, you, you'll see the LEDs, the lights, then you'll see the knobs here which you can change and we have the, the mapping and we have uh, Hijaz, that's the scale, I can change that. And you'll see the lights and all the mappings to the keyboard change. So everything is ready for you to create that Middle Eastern Arabic kind of sound. So now I've loaded the Middle East Percussions Ensemble, and here you'll see a lot more instruments that can play together. And I'm gonna go into the mapping right here, and you'll see how they are laid across the keyboard. Now let's go back to the main page and break it down. So first of all, on the left side, we have the sync. And if you click this, you are synced into your session, your uh, DAW BPM, or you can change that. And then we can half or double the speed. And of course you can change uh, instead of sync, it can be unsync, and then you can set whatever BPM you like. Next, we have the actual pattern that is loaded, and you'll see it right here, that's the name. And you can see it matches what we have in the presets, but you can also drag and drop this into your 
session into your project. And next to this, we have the edit. So I'm gonna click this and you'll see the actual pattern and you can create your own patterns. So here we can see the different articulations or different instruments and how they play. And I'm just gonna go and drag that and drop it in my session. Right, and you can see now that we have this ready for us. Now in the mixer tab, you'll see the different instruments, how they play, and you can solo, you can mute, you can change the uh, volume, and you have the send and panning options for each channel. So first tab here, it's one to five and then six to 10. Okay, so let's see what else is included. And I have everything reset back to its default. So um, we see all the banks and I've just loaded DAF, which is a sort of a, a drum. And let's have a listen. All right, that's how it sounds. And I'm going to load another one. And the, the difference between those uh, presets is mostly the uh, different phrases. So if I'll just load another one. Now let's talk about Darbukas. I've been asked so many times about the Darbukas. Where can I find a good contact or whatever library for Darbukas? So this is it. And we have a lot of options here. And again, you can use the keyboard with the pre-made phrases or you can play it yourself. Right, and we have a lot of choices. See how many, it just uh, goes on and on. Let's try another one. And of course we have more and more instruments. Let's try the next one, the wool. So I'm trying to give you guys taste from different instruments, but if I've missed anything, just let me know in the comments. And of course, if you like this video so far, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I've got tons of videos covering a lot of uh, virtual instruments, native instruments and plugins. And if you have questions, you need some help, uh, just get in touch with me through my Facebook and Twitter and Discord. And I'm going to put all the links, of course, in the description of this video. And of course, we have also strings like SAS. We have tambour. And we also have Zurna, and I've been asked about this one. Where do I get a good Zurna? So there you go. We have one right here. Right, and other than that, we have more melodic instruments. So you can again filter by bank and we can see if we've missed anything. So we have, uh, for example, 
the canon. Let's try this one. We have the ne flute. And of course, you can play it yourself. Right, and we have some more patterns. And we have Oud, which is very common in the Middle East. So that is the Middle East Spotlight Collection. Really hope you enjoy this one. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I know we didn't cover everything but I wanted to give you some idea of what's included. And so uh, if you still have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you want to learn more, go into the product page and I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video. And really appreciate if you click that link when you are planning to buy this library, I'll get a little bit of commission, which will get me some coffee in a coffee shop right across the street. So I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks and bye-bye.